What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving an update on Jasmine. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and belief. So Jasmine is currently trading at a price point of just over three tenths of a penny. It has a market cap of 150 million, which ranks 156th among all cryptocurrencies. And its circulating supply is 48.99 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion, which is about 98% in circulation. And if you guys are looking to invest in Jasmine, I recommend using Binance, Coinbase, or KuCoin. I think those are the three easiest centralized exchanges to use. Now, if you come over to Watcher Guru's Twitter, I want to go over some major crypto news. And this isn't directly correlated to Jasmine, but I still think it's very important. So the first thing I want to cover is what they posted October 12th. U.S. inflation remains at 3.7%, higher than expectations. And there is definitely an argument that inflation is even higher than 3.7%, especially once you understand fractional reserve banking. And now you may ask, why does this affect Jasmine or crypto in general? Well, let's look at Jasmine for a second. As I said at the beginning of the video, Jasmine has a circulating supply of 48.9 billion out of a max supply of 50 billion, which is 98% in circulation, meaning that there is only going to be another 2% of Jasmine tokens that get released. And given that it has a max supply of 50 billion, it is always going to have a store of value in a sense, as will all other cryptocurrencies that have a max supply, whereas the US dollar has no cap. And now what they posted October 9th, $4.5 trillion asset manager Fidelity says Bitcoin is the most secure, decentralized, sound digital money compared to any other digital asset. It is crazy to see how far crypto has come in a few short years. And I really don't think we're that far away from seeing Fidelity, BlackRock, many other large asset managers get their Bitcoin spot ETFs approved. And once that happens, it will make it significantly easier for the average everyday person to get into cryptocurrency, especially the older generations who have most of the money, which quite frankly could be a catalyst that could potentially start an early bull market. And then I want to show you this clip that they posted October 8th. So OpenAI and ChatGPT CEO Sam Altman says Bitcoin is a super logical and important step on the technology tree. I'm excited about it for the same reasons. I'm excited about Bitcoin too. But I think this idea that we have a global currency that is outside of the control of any government is a super logical and important step yeah. on the tech tree. Yeah, agreed. I mean, why should the government control currency? I mean, the, the government should be dealing with all the pressing environmental, social infrastructure issues, foreign policy issues, economic issues. The things that we need to be governed in order to have a peaceful and prosperous society that's equal and equitable. Now, the reason I think this is important is because this is on Joe Rogan's podcast. And Joe Rogan has quite literally one of the most popular, if not the most popular podcast in the entire world. He has millions of people that watch him every single day. So the fact that you have big names coming in and hyping up Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, that is extremely bullish. And in my eyes, it just proves that crypto is here to stay. And then the final video I want to show you guys is what they posted October 7th. So celebrating Bitcoin reaching an all-time high of $111 back in 2013. I'm right here watching history be made. Bitcoin is now up to $111. It's still just so crazy to think about that. Only 10 years ago, Bitcoin was trading at $111. And now we're trading at $26,800. Imagine where crypto will be 10 years from now, when crypto truly becomes globally adopted. But now for the final part of this video, we'll get into a little bit of technical analysis. So this is Jasmine on the daily time frame. And you could actually argue that Jasmine is trading in a falling wedge, which break up 68% of the time. And it has a measured move up to that 0 0.0034 level. In addition, the RSI and stochastics are both extremely oversold. All three of those indicators suggest we could get a bounce up. Although I will say there are some bearish indicators as well. So the first one being that Jasmine broke beneath the high volume node on the VRVP. Typically, that's not a great sign. On top of that, Jasmine is also trading beneath all of the moving averages right now. And if you look at the 21-day moving average, it broke beneath the 50-day moving average, which is a death cross. And typically, that signals a drop is coming. Now, you could argue that that drop already played out, but either way, it is something to keep your eyes on. But what you do have to understand about Jasmine is it has gotten absolutely decimated during this bear market. Even if we do drop lower, how much lower can we actually go? Maybe down to this previous wick at about 0 0.0028, but we may never see Jasmine again at these price levels. But obviously, if Bitcoin crashes, Jasmine will also crash. Now, lastly, we'll take a look at Bitcoin. 
as it's correlated to most altcoins. So this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And it's crazy because our previous technical analysis played out almost perfectly. As many of you guys know, we call this initial bull flag where it broke out almost perfectly to the measured move. And then I was talking about how price action was trading between two high volume nodes on the VRVP. And essentially these high volume nodes work as magnets. So I said there was a great chance that price action either shot up to about 29,100 or down to 26,600. And due to the overbought RSI and the overbought stochastics, I wouldn't be shocked if it was to the downside. And that is pretty much exactly what happened. Now at the current moment, we have Bitcoin drawn on another bull flag, which break up 68% of the time and it has a measured move up to about 28,900. However, I will say if it does break up, it's going to have to retest that $28,500 level where it got rejected previously. Now, that being said, the stochastics are extremely oversold and the RSI is also getting a little oversold. And then if you look at price action, it swings from a lower low to a higher low. The RSI makes a double bottom. That is class B bullish divergence, which typically signals a local bottom has been reached. And price action is also using the 50-day moving average as support right now. So overall, I think Bitcoin looks pretty good on the daily time frame. And I wouldn't fault you guys at all if you wanted to take this trade. But as I say in every single one of my videos, it is crucial that you understand macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if all of a sudden the BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF were to get approved, that could skyrocket Bitcoin, Jasmine, the entire crypto market. On the contrary, if it gets rejected or some extremely bearish news comes out, that could tank the entire crypto market. So just keep an open mind. Realize anything can happen in the short term. And crypto is an extremely volatile market. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Jasmine could go next bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.